Welcome back to our series on Security Insights. Today, we're going to talk about the unintended consequences of using equipment that's designed for the home in the office. As the lines between home working and office working are becoming increasingly blurred, how do you ensure that your data is always protected? What is the difference between the security needs of the home and the needs of a corporate worker working from home? Is there a difference between technology designed for the home versus the workplace? Now, I don't believe it's necessarily wrong to mix and match your technology. Many devices designed for home use do have more friendly and usable interfaces than those designed for corporate use. But, just because it feels as normal to use your tablet in your kitchen as it does in your office, doesn't mean to say there are not potential risks. Who cares about security? Whether you're using a corporate device at home or running a small business from your bedroom, you really need to care about security. It's amazing how many people don't realize that attackers will look at your network to see whether you're a home user or a business user at home. Why? Because a home user might not care too much if an attacker blocks access to some personal photos and messages. But a business user will care if they're suddenly blocked from their important files. And they'll care a lot, enough to pay to regain access. Who cares about manageability? Home devices are designed with a single user in mind. They often do not have any facilities for managing multiple devices in the same way. Developers of corporate devices have management platforms to enable mass configuration, mass patching, and single security policies. This means that when a home device is used in a corporate setting, the aspects of management, updates, and security policies often have to be carried out manually, if at all. If the devices are not updated or managed, they're a risk, and this puts the company's data at risk. Who cares about contracts? The problem with some home technology is that the terms and conditions of their usage is quite different and quite a lot looser than corporate technology. Or, to put it more bluntly, if the terms and conditions of your devices are made with home users in mind, the onus is on you to understand where your data is being stored and if it's safe. The company providing the service is likely to reserve the right to use your data as it wants to. The little extras that corporate technology users enjoy, like transferable licenses and protection of intellectual property, come at a large cost. Why? Well, because with corporate contracts, the negotiating power is significantly higher. The IT team looking into the back end of the technology are aware of what needs to be covered, and terms and conditions from a business perspective are significantly tighter. Now, I'm not saying don't, but I am saying be careful. If you're going to use equipment or services designed for home usage, think about how you're using it, where your data is, and what your contract covers. Who cares about quality? Home IT technology often doesn't comply to the same security standards that corporate technology does. Far too often, we see products designed for home usage containing very simple security flaws. It's not uncommon to see exactly the same product rebadged with different manufacturer names, different packaging, and different functionality, but exactly the same security vulnerabilities. It's amazing that underneath some products may be virtually identical, just repurposed and rebadged for different tasks. At the cheaper end of the market, this can be endemic, and if manufacturers don't care about this, how much do they care about your security and the safety of your data? So if you're a home technology user, you should care about the quality of the product you're putting your data into. So how do you tackle all of these things? The biggest difference between home and office technology, ultimately, is who is responsible for it. If you work in an office, the security credentials of a product are probably not directly your responsibility. You'll have either an IT team or a security team to think about that for you. At home, however, the responsibility rests with you. Buy products from vendors that talk about security. Don't just buy on price. Don't even buy on reviews. Buy on recommendations from trusted providers. Buy on your own research. If a product has had a lot of security breaches or warnings attached to it, maybe think twice about spending your money. No matter how flashy the technology is, when you're at home, the only person caring about the security and safety of your data is you. 
I'm Quentin Taylor and I hope you've enjoyed this video on using corporate devices at home. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.